Okay, so let's just dive right into it. Excited Caitlin Clark's here. We already have season tickets. We are supporters. Hell yeah. We are in there. We are, I don't know what they're going to do with her salary because I heard it's a $78,000 uh, rookie contract. She's going to be selling suites and arenas all around the WNBA worth that amount on one particular night, let alone the other 40, six, 40 games. Yep. Anyways, we appreciate the fact that Caitlin Clark has done what she has done mm -hmm. in the manner in which she has done them. Mm -hmm. And when she gets to Indiana... It is going to be electrifying. Mm -hmm. She'll be on the show, actually, if she gets drafted by the Fever. We'll we are see. told, we have to say, if she gets drafted by the Fever, she'll be on show Wednesday. Okay. Awesome. Part, in the third. Let's hope. If she gets drafted Not, by the Fever, who knows? Uh, there might be a little shakeup at the top. We, ooh, we're hoping. Fingers crossed. We're hoping. A lot gets made about the WNBA salary, but listen, Caitlin Clark is not going to have problems making money off the court. I think when you think about shoe deal, when you think about endorsement deals, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a lot for Caitlin Clark in her future. I do know that for a fact. There's also going to be a lot for the owners of the WNBA because somebody's going to come in and sell out every single one, you know, so as we're pocket watching, let's remember who's profiting off of who. But yes, I completely agree for the good of the WNBA. That's for right. the good of the That's WNBA, right. which Caitlin Clark and that entire, hey, they got some players over there, right? Yes, now. they oh, yeah. do. And they're all talking shit kind of towards Caitlin, you know? Not all of them, but seemingly a Feels little. Feels that way. Welcome to the Women's League. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome. The w. Of college. Can't wait for the W to take off, and congrats to everybody that gets drafted tonight and has their dreams come true. Let's talk about the playoffs, because the boys are going to have questions about the play-in and a lot of stuff like that. The Pacers do have Yarnson, boys. I have heard Yarnson isn't playing. Ooh. Are the Pacers about to go on a run right now, Shams? Is that what's taking place? Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner, and the boys who they can fill it up. They, mm -hmm. score. Yeah. they are electrifying. They are fun to watch. They can go on a run right now, or what are we thinking here with Giannis? Pat, I think you went to a game, and you, I think you, you posted with TJ McConnell and Tyrese Halliburton, and you said they're dogs. So I think you might have been way ahead of it before anyone, but yes, they get the six seed, they get Milwaukee, and they've had kind of Milwaukee's number to an extent this season in the in-season tournament afterward. We know there, there also was that incident where there, there was the ball confusion. Giannis obviously was upset. He didn't get the game ball after one of the games. Um, so this is a rivalry game to an extent, given the season, given everything that's happened. But, yeah, the, the, the question about Giannis and Didacumbo, whether he's going to play or not in game one on Sunday, that's the big question around around the Bucks, around this series, around the league. He's, he's having daily treatment. He had a calf strain, non-contact calf strain, about six days ago. He's been having treatment every single day around the clock. Uh, he, he's trying his best to go out there and play – but, but there's real doubt. There's real doubt. There's real concern around around the Bucks, around the team, about whether he's actually going to be able to start this series, at least in game one. His status is very much in, uh, up in the air uh, and is more doubtful than not. But he has a superhuman ability to come back. Hurt. We've seen him play through pain a few years ago in the NBA Finals in Phoenix. He was supposed to be out several weeks. He ends up playing after just one week. But this is a calf injury, Pat. You guys know a lot about calves. Like, oh, yeah, you know. can't oh. mess around Baby with calves. a calf injury. Yeah. Uh, because that can Spring. that can lead to potentially mm -hmm. more severe injuries in your leg. A lot of calves in the spring, you know. This is uh, baby season for the farms, but <laughs> calves are something that's delicate. You know, it is a very important muscle, but has a lot of little parts. That's right. And if one of them just locks up, it could be problematic. Let alone getting back to a hundred uh, percent. Even though Giannis, the Greek freak, he was quicker than everybody. Um, the Pacers and I, and we have never said that before. Mm -hmm. Just as Indianapolis native here. Pacers and I would like to let the Greek freak know, you get healthy, buddy. Yeah, yeah. come on. Come on, dude. Just you don't want brother in there. You don't want to run. Bingo. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Thanis. Yeah. Thanis. Yeah. Right. Put, Tenesis. Tenesis. Put him in. Yeah. 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 But, but really, as NBA, like, as NBA fans, as, as people you know, around the league, like the stakes are high for the Bucs. We know that. The stakes are high. They, they, this, this, you get Damon Lillard, you have Giannis. This is a championship or bust season for sure. But the stakes are even higher. For, for Giannis in terms of this injury where he's at his, in, in his career. Um, you want to be careful to an extent. That's not something that Giannis wants to hear, but you're going to have to be careful with an injury like this. Oh, he's already had... Giannis, Giannis. don't you talk about <laughs> me. <laughs> he's already had Achilles. He's Giannis. already had hamstring injuries this year on that same leg. So Ooh. we'll see if Giannis can make it back in this series at some point. Didn't Giannis say something about, like, I just hope my team wants to win, so they need to invest in this entire thing, and then they go get Dame time. So now it's like that was the team almost saying, huh? Now it's your turn to kind of go and do it. Is that an accurate reading? I mean, he'd love to play with the calf injury, and he's played all year. I mean, he's going to be a no, guy that's going to be considered that all-NBA. Talk about that pressure. There's high, high pressure yeah. for him, for Dame, for this organization. They're, this, this last few weeks when they've been struggling, this has been as pressure-packed 
as possible as possible for this team. But but with Giannis, you have to be careful. But I mean, this Indiana team, mm-hmm. it kind of is a yeah. contrast to what Milwaukee likes, right? Like they're, they're a team that that plays a little bit more slower pace. Indiana just runs, runs, and runs. They're going to be an up-tempo, high-offense team. And uh, Milwaukee has struggled defensively at times this year. So we'll see. Indiana, to me, it's it's, a, it's two completely different styles. Giannis, though, probably a little more motivated because if you remember, the Pacers took his 64-point ball oh, yeah. for the rookie that scored his first basket. So they do. There is beef there. And knocked him out of the end season. So. Oh, True. Oh, I, t- I talked to Halliburton, who had a superstar – Rise yeah. during the in season tournament mm-hmm. that inevitably they would lose to the Lakers. Congrats to the Lakers hanging in there. Mm-hmm. He feels healthy. He feels good about the boys. Yeah, they they're rolling right now. They they story. couldn't miss yesterday. Yeah, finish your story, Tyrese. Go ahead, AJ. Shams, how confident are you in the uh, Boston Celtics? You know the ability to capitalize on the great regular season they had and make a run and at least get to the finals. Very confident. I mean, this is championship robust as well, but even more so with them, they've been head and shoulders above. Every team in the league. I mean, Denver yeah. for sure ha- has been great. Mm. Oklahoma City, we know about. Minnesota, we know about. But Boston, year in and year out, under the Jason Tatum era and Jalen Brown, they've been to multiple conference finals. They've been doing NBA what? finals in 2022. What? They have Drew Holiday now. What? You have Chris Porzingis. What? You have Al Horford coming off your bench. What? Uh, Jalen Brown, Jay- Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, both at the peaks of their careers right now in their prime. Mazzola. This to me yeah. <laughs> is about as championship robust as it gets. Whoa. They obviously need to win a championship. They want to win a championship. Uh, and, and you have to give Joe Mazzulla a lot of credit. He's been trying different tactics throughout the course of the year. And now everything is going to come come about in the playoffs. But for sure, I mean, this team should be the favorite going in. Fuck There's it. going to be competition out west. But Boston is, gonna, is the favorite right now out of the East. Well, Giannis is looking to finish his story, too. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. So he's Dame Dollar. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of stories that need to be finished. But Boston... Well, Philly as well. Philly, you have Joel Embiid. He <laughs> Healthy. He looks what do you mean? back. He wants to finish the story. Uh, he's back. He's, and beats he, back. He, he he's healthy. Great. He's back. He's healthy. He's he's set to play to, okay. in, in this playing tournament against Miami. Good and point. Miami, Jimmy Butler. You can never count out Jimmy Butler. No. Nope. Um, yep. in, 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 in the Eastern Conference. I know I'm not. Last question here from Tone Diggs. Yeah, Shams, uh, there's a guy who's in the Hall of Fame for speaking in microphones. His name is Mike Greeny Greenberg. Two okay. Hall of Fames. Sorry, two Hall of Fames. He suggested, okay. That the Lakers should purposely, <laughs> he suggested, yeah, absolutely, okay, Chuck. That sure. the Lakers uh, should purposely lose to the Pelicans so that they don't have to play the Denver Nuggets uh, in the first round, and then they could play the winner of the nine ten, and then hopefully get OKC in the first round. Is there any talk of that? Are the Lakers going to sit everybody uh, in that first game against Pelicans so they don't have to play the Nuggets if they win? I'm not going to lie to you. I thought about that as well last last night when I was looking at the playoff seedings and everything like that, but you can't. You can't do that because it's st- the risk is too great. Let's say even if you did tank in that 7-8 game and then you have to play either the Warriors or the Kings at home in L.A., but what if you lose that? Then it's like, all right, yeah. we, we did all this only to lose, and now we're not even in the playoffs. So the risk is too great. They're going for the win. They're trying to beat New Orleans uh, tomorrow and then play Denver and at that point, you just get Denver out of the way. You play them early. You're, you're going to have to face them eventually anyway. If you can't beat Denver in the first round, you're definitely not going to beat them later. Plus, you do have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, healthy, rejuvenated early in the playoffs versus later and later as these rounds go. Yeah, you want to get hot. Yeah, yeah. yes, you do. You want to get hot right now. Mm-hmm. You want to go and run. Hey, Joker shows, though, this is his time. Mm-hmm. Excited to see what the NBA shapes out to be. Congrats. Who's MVP? To- Shit. Shea or Joker? Who's MVP? So I see that that OKC team has the youngest average age for any team that's ever made the play or had a one seed or something like that. Is that right? They went from the play-in, not in the playoffs, to the one seed. 23.4 years old average yeah. or something like yeah, that. Younger, yeah. younger than North Shai Carolina, I believe. Shai should be the MVP. Most 30-point so. point games in the NBA for Shea Gills Alexander this year go from out of the playoffs in the play-in to the number one seed. Youngest team to win uh, the, the number one record. Pretty impressive to me. It's a new era. Yeah. It's a new era. Young guns at OKC. Are they going to win it all? They're going to have a chance. But listen, if you're the Lakers, Not even the favorite. You're, you're, I, I think I think Lakers, Warriors, given how how experienced they are, they have championship pedigree, they're, they're going to be very confident going into that series against Oklahoma City. Plus 150. It's almost like Scotty Scheffler odds. Yeah, I mean, yeah, truly. A huge guy. Jeez, I mean, they, that, yeah, that's two why teams. if it doesn't happen this year, the city is going to implode. Well, we hope that's not the case. I agree. For the good of the Celtics fan base, yeah. which is a passionate one. Yeah, very. Remember nice. that? 
Yeah, they're a passionate group. They Bo- say stuff, don't they? So Boston yeah. Connor would have some very sleepless nights. Yes, he if the Celtics yeah. don't get the job done this. Hey, what, Sean? Hey, did you hear Kelsey Plum call you Sean the other day? I, I was about to say, uh, I thought you guys should have backed me up on my name at least. Wow. Well, we Sean. well we ran with it. We Sean. thought she might maybe you do something ran, we didn't. You guys, you guys way ran with it. You guys flew with that. <laughs> what one. are you talking about? I'm, Sean. Changing, I'm, I'm just changing my name. I'm changing my name to Sean now. You know, hey, it's not a bad name actually. When she said it, W N Sean Sean Shroyan, and then just make the first name the last name because that'd be a great name. Shroyan Sean Sean Shams Sean Shams. Sean Shams Shroyan. Yeah. 